What is a Raspberry Pi? Well, Raspberry Pi, in short, is a mini computer. It is this little card that, as you see, it's a bit smaller than your hand, bigger than a credit card, probably almost twice a credit card, maybe two credit cards that way. It is $35 just for the Raspberry Pi. Now what you do is you need to get an SD card, and they're all pretty much going, they're all micro SD. There's several versions of the Raspberry Pi, you know, they started many years ago and worked their way up. They're all working micro SD now. There's even a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is even smaller. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, as a computer, so you have $35 for the Raspberry Pi, they need a micro SD card, so that could be $10. You're going to need a power supply, because usually that's not part of the $35. So there's probably $10 for the power supply. You're going to need a mouse and a keyboard. You might have those. You might need to get them. They are USB. It has four USB connections. It has a internet connection. Depending which version you get, it is Wi-Fi capable already. Mine is Wi-Fi capable already. I think I have the Raspberry Pi 3 version B. Um, I think, I haven't looked at them in a while, but I think they might all be coming now Wi-Fi, just because it's, uh, it's the norm. Um, some of them come with uh, different port kind of things, like I think that might be a camera attachment kind of thing um, for the Raspberry Pi camera. But it's got input-output ports, so you can do some stuff, some programming with that like an Arduino kind of thing. Uh, you could program uh, input output ports. Uh, as a computer itself, you got to get a version of Linux for it, usually Raspbian. It's not that hard to get that, so simple instructions. Oh, you might want a case also to go with this. Again, there's like five dollars there. You're gonna need a monitor. It's HDMI. So again, do you have a monitor or do you need to buy one? I tend to buy TVs for a hundred bucks. So this would be the screen you get. I mean, as I said, it is a computer. So you've got, this is a just built in. I did not add anything to the software. This is the version of Linux that came with it. So there's some programming thing. You can program in Python, you can program in Scratch. I like this thing called Sonic Pi. I think it's a neat thing for people, for kids especially, because kids love music. Well, I love music too. Oops. And you program music. Um, and, and there's an awesome tutorial about how to do this, uh, loops and built-in stuff and synthesizers. So there we're told to play like note 72, 75, and 79, sleep a second, you know, do, th do three times. Now, if you know anything about programming, you know all three of those are playing at once. That's why I only heard three notes, three three chimes, because the way the coding is, those are so. So there's that. It's an awesome free program. Now, if you've got Windows machines and uh, Macintosh machines, you can already download it and go on there. But it's part of a. Usually, it's part of the distribution for Raspberry Pi. And again, I said it's internet. It's not Chrome. Okay. It's, uh, it's just, it's just some, some web browser. I don't know what it is. And I haven't looked to see what else is available for it. You could do that. It comes with some games. I'd rather kids make games. That's the progr the Python programming. Make some awesome Python games on there. Um, it comes with an Office program, LibreOffice, which is the free Office version nowadays. Um, so it's a nice start. I tend to think of it as a $150 computer to get you started. It's not the fastest. No, it's not. Um, but again, it's a $150 computer, and what it's meant for is to be able to do some programming. Um, that's That was why they were built. Scratch is a big thing for people to start with. So it comes with Scratch, even though you, and you can do Scratch uh, web-based. So, but, that pro, but then there's also the idea that there are these input-output pins where you can program buttons and switches and lights and motors so it's a multi-purpose kind of thing uh, they do make a raspberry pi zero which is literally half the size it's like a large stick of bubble gum 
kind of thing. It's just, it doesn't have as much RAM, doesn't have as many input output ports, uh, not as many USB kind of thing. It depends on what you want to use it for. So, I like them. Tinker with, play with. And so that's the basics of Raspberry Pi.